So, can set a concept for, for a calf slicer, just using 50 50 as a point of reference. So, uh, depending on who you're fighting, sometimes you get a lot of different reactions and situations in 50 50. You get guys that are calm with opening their legs and sitting there, double guard type position, pulling guard, whatever it may be, or whatever position it may be, but this concept will apply to multiple positions. It looks like something that's similar from a De La Hiva roll or anything else it may be, but it'll be when it's like opposite side legs. So maybe I split the legs open, I get to this position, we're starting to work here. Nassar is comfortable with opening his leg, I'm comfortable with being here, maybe I'm fighting, I'm looking for a leg, I'm scooting back, whatever it may be. I wanna create a situation to where I create a pocket between my knee and his knee on the inside 50-50 leg. Now, I can't allow Nassar to be pulling his knee away from me like trying to sit his hip down. This comes from when the star is comfortable from putting his inside hip down with two situations that's gonna be here. So the first one that I'm here is I'm gonna make sure I take my outside leg and it's gonna go inside, okay? Now this isn't a reek because I'm not above the knee, okay? In fact, this is below the knee. This is legal in IBJJF. The reek comes from when the knee goes and starts going that way for the reek. So, since I'm not doing that position, the knee is not being isolated or moved in a specific position. The knee was here when I put the foot in. It's not a reek because of the angle that we're going. So now that I'm here, my right leg came in, I put it inside this little pocket, okay? I prefer if my right leg to goes in, my right hand is coming up and either grabbing the belt or the pants. There's, there's no specific one that works better. Or you know, um, if it was no gi, this applies to, I would grab the same side hip or whatever it may be. I just grab something so I have like another grip on this control. I can grab the pants if he has any type of specific grips I need to do, but I need to pull my left leg out. I pull my left leg out and I start to sit up. Now I'm in this position where it's almost like a De La Hiva hook, so this is why it's a concept that applies to multiple positions. I'm inside on the hip and I'm using this to keep Nassar's hip down. If I didn't sit here and Nassar tries to bail, it freaks out and then I'm not able to have the position. Once I'm sitting up and I have my position, my right hand will come to the same side leg. So I'm just coming from the hip to the same side leg. Now that I'm here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck and I'm gonna roll underneath Nassar with my left arm. I keep my position that I already had. My hand is inside here. I would lock my hands in some specific way. My left leg will come up and over. I do a figure four grip. I have to make sure that my knee does not pop out or I'll lose the actual submission. I keep my knee on the inside of his leg. Once I'm here, I connect my hands, I connect my figure four. Nassar will be moving around a lot, but all I need to do is to get Nassar's heel closer to his butt. Nassar will be in a constant state of trying to straighten his leg. I use the control on the hip and I, and I straighten my body out. I push my legs down as I bring my hips closer to Nassar so it's, it's easy for me to fight him here. Once I'm here, I'm pulling his hips, straight my legs down to attack the calf slicer. If this failed, I can just switch, go back, we're in 50-50 again. I can start to fight all over again, putting my leg inside. So we're in 50-50 for a concept. I'm pushing, creating my space. My leg goes on the inside. Belt or pants to be able to get up to get here. This foot has to stay across the hip. This is why the calf slicer is going to exist. So once I'm here, my hand comes off and it's grabbing the same side thigh. My left arm is going underneath. I'm just rolling to find my position. My knee has to stay on the inside. If it pops out, I lose this spot. The star can start to do a bunch of different things from here. I lose my position. I keep my knee on the inside. Once I'm here, I can connect my hands. I figure for my legs. If Nassar is fighting me, trying to straighten his legs, it's easy for me to pull him in and start to straighten my body to bring his heel close to his butt to get the tap. If everything failed, I can just pull the leg inside, sit up, and start to attack from 50-50 again. So I like this position because no matter what, I can always get back to a safe position. So one more time, I open the leg, we're in a fight, it starts moving around, I create this space. My foot goes inside, hand on the belt for point of reference, I use this to sit up. This foot has to stay across my leg. If this were to pop out, I'll lose the position. When I roll, I'll lose it all. So it's inside here. I keep my butt close to my heel to make sure this leg doesn't come out. This hand will go to the hip, left hand's gonna go underneath, I'm gonna roll over my shoulder. The knee staying, uh, it's not popping out, staying on the inside. Figure four lock, connect my hands. I'm pulling the hip in as I'm straightening my body. to get the calf and the, 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 get the calf slice by bringing Nassar's heel close to his butt. If all fails, switch. I go back to 50-50, maybe I get an advantage, but I'm in a safe position. I didn't give up any position and I got the submission at the same time.